Right, let's fit in a game of Blitz Chess. So 1814, good luck. Now let's play another Sicilian just for that bit of variety. So we've not played before, nor had Ted score there. Now 32,000 games, that's impressive. Let's bring the knight up, just hit the pawn. Uh, bishop up, hit the knight. So we still hit the pawn, but you've got to watch out for some very sharp lines in these games. Um, I don't queen up some move here, I think, isn't it? Takes, takes. Yeah, I think queen up some move here. I might be getting my theory wrong, but I think it is. The king comes up, okay. So we can take and allow takes here in castle, or we can take allow takes here. I like the idea of that more. I think it's risky though, isn't it? We've got a queen check. Hmm. No, I think I'm actually gonna go the the slightly riskier way. I'm gonna go this way. I'm just gonna castle. We can develop and hit the bishop. The queen can't come out in one move. We can play up and go after the king. So we've got options, but knight up's a very natural move to hit the bishop. I guess you can just guard, you can block back and hit the queen. So it wants to run the king away, logical. Hmm. I mean, I can check here and trade the queen then. So that's an option. I want to develop the knight first and see what you do. I can still check and trade the queen if we want to. A little bit low on time, but we can drop back here and stop the king running away easily or too easily. Yeah, let's just check and drop back. Let's drop back. I want to take some sort of risk, I think, and push forward to get the bishop into play. Hmm. Just wants to trade. Logical. Yeah, I might as well trade. I can't really do anything much else. Let's try and push on. I burned a bit of time here, so it's a bit risky. The king's actually probably in a good position now that the queens are off the board. Obviously, I can't easily push here. My idea was just to push the pawns on here, so that's what I'm going to do. Bishop down, I guess I could trade. That's what he's gone for. But at least it's not opposite coloured bishops, so... Hmm, is this a move? I think I can actually push the pawn there. He takes take back. Oh, he's taken that one, so we'll take. He can't take this move. So what do we do? Let's try and clamp down and keep that pawn. So what on earth do we do with this bishop? We've got one logical move. That connects our rooks. Um, he's going to get active, but we have to develop the bishop. That's probably a poison pawn, probably, isn't it? So I don't think we can take that pawn. So we'll probably just drop back here. Although, is tempting us now? Tempting us now. Take down, down. We're probably getting trapped, aren't we? But here, down, up. Let's go for it, why not? Okay, he's gonna cross. I know we can pin one of the rooks. Oh, he just has king back though. I just forgot that, didn't I? But I've got a pawn here. Here. He's got down. Here. I think I can push here and rook down. Because the rook can't come here, the bishop can't come here. If you take now, we just simply push the pawn on. But we're threatening rook down here and hit the pawn. I hope, anywhere. It was still probably a silly risk to go for, but we've done it now, so we can't take it back. Well, can't I just push and queen now? Okay, it takes, so the queen would check and hit the rook. Okay, I'm sure we were definitely losing that game. Let's see how losing we were. 
So we've had 31 moves, so they're the move times of both players. Let's request an analysis. Yeah, so it was a bad pawn to take. So we're actually doing okay. We were plus one better. Actually, before that, we were actually okay. Hmm. So we're actually worse here. We The pawn has blundered in the opening. Should have dropped the bishop back. So we messed up here punishing this. Takes was correct, and we've missed something. Should have just taken the pawn instead of going for knight. We should have just grabbed the pawn. Apparently, it's okay. Obviously, it looks a bit scary with everything hanging, but I guess the knight hangs at the end. I'm not sure. Gain a pawn, lose a pawn. Gain a rook, lose a rook. Gain a knight, lose a knight. It seems to work all out for us. So that was a blunder there, just taking that way. And we have got, what, three blunders versus two blunders. So the figures were 87 versus 74, CPL 35, 66. So we've got another one coming up. So in this position, we've kind of gone a little bit wrong here. We're slightly better, and now we end up worse with the queen trade, and we end up... The pawn push was not good. But in this position, we're now unwinding. It was actually okay to take the pawn, so that was okay. This was okay. This is all okay, but we should have moved the rook right across to hit the pawn immediately. Hmm, okay. So I guess rook over takes, takes, and we can just come back. Are we not actually getting trapped? So that was a mistake there. So this is good for white. This is still good for white. Just drop the bishop back. I was looking at rook up, and if you take, check, and we can still collect. So um, bishop f1, it doesn't give any further line. But then that's just a blunder because it gives us a queen. So we get a little bit of luck along the way, we're just playing a Sicilian just for variety, it is what it is.